Meghan Markle, 37, and Prince Harry, 33, have announced the Duchess is pregnant. The news was announced on Monday. What were the body language clues and signs the couple were expecting? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will soon have another member of their royal family, as the couple announced they are expecting a baby. The news broke on Monday morning, and Kensington Palace wrote on Twitter, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. The couple's child will have Kate Middleton and Prince William's children Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3, and Prince Louis, born in April, as cousins. Many had suspected the pregnancy in the past weeks, but now an expert has revealed the telltale signs Meghan was expecting. Body language expert Judy James told Express.co.uk the body language clues we all missed. She claimed the best clues could be seen on September 20 when Meghan was launching a project. She said, the most comprehensive clues that Meghan might be pregnant came when she was launching the Grenfell cookbook. The Duchess's mother came into town, and she, Meghan and Harry attended the launch together. Judy said, firstly there was her mother Doria, arriving from the US to temporarily take Harry's place at her daughter's side as mothers tend to do when there's a first baby on the way looking proud and protective and leaving a rather bashful looking Harry following along behind. Meghan put an arm over her stomach, a move Judy said was rather revealing. She said, then there was the way that Meghan performed a very telling gesture as she walked from the car, placing an arm across her stomach area in a reflective act of protection and masking. She was clearly keen to keep the pregnancy a secret but this body language giveaway showed where her real focus was at the time. Her doting husband Prince Harry also gave off some body language signals that a baby was on the way. Judy said, interestingly, Harry used the same gestural tell. As he walked behind his wife his hand also performed an act of subliminal mimicry, rising to his waistband in an act of empathetic thinking that many new fathers will use. The way they interacted with one another was also a big sign, Judy explained. Harry and Meghan's touch rituals had also changed dramatically recently, she said. Their PDAs and tie signs had usually involved Meghan touching Harry's back or patting or stroking his arm to suggest reassurance, affection and steering. Suddenly though it was Harry doing all the protective touches, placing a hand on his wife's back or an arm around her waist in rituals of loving concern. Fashion fans may have noticed Meghan's wardrobe changing which Judy also pointed out. She said, Meghan's clothing style changed too, from the sleeker figure-hugging fashions or the chic masculine tailoring complete with wide, tight statement belts to tops with frills or peplums to cover her stomach or that beautiful coat she wore to Eugenie's wedding with the lower buttons left undone for comfort. Meghan Markle's baby bump was on show in a green dress. Prince Harry has mock scolded a newsreader for giving his wife Meghan Markle flowers during a surprise stop on the royal tour. Deviating from their schedule, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex paused to greet the small crowd outside Taranga Zoo this morning. Among the crowd was Nova 969 newsreader Matt de Groot, whom breakfast hosts Fitzy and Whippa had tasked with gifting the $500 bunch of flowers to the parents-to-be. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to stop after de Groot's bouquet caught the eye of Meghan, causing Harry to joke about the size of them. You can't give flowers that big to my wife, what is that all about? Harry joked pointing a finger in mock anger at de Groot. As the crowd laughed Meghan added, thank you for my flowers. De Groot told News.com. Oh he was surprised his last minute plan brought him so close to the royal couple. During an earlier attempt to give the Duke and Duchess of Sussex the flowers outside Admiralty House, police told a Groot he would be crash-tackled by security if he got too close. But outside Taranga Zoo, Meghan and Harry were more than happy to accept the bouquet. She seemed genuinely excited and flattered by the size of the flowers and her people, who were with her, pointed out that she loved the fact that they were huge, de Groot said. Both Meghan and Harry appeared buoyed by the fact that they had announced their pregnancy the night before. Meghan in particular just couldn't stop smiling. Every single person was saying congratulations, de Groot said. 
She wasn't hiding it, she didn't want to shy away from it. She seemed genuinely enthusiastic about the fact that she could now share the news. Harry was the same. Meghan Markle wore Princess Diana's gold and diamond butterfly earrings and bracelet on the first day of her royal tour of Australia, just a day after Kensington Palace announced her pregnancy. On her first outing since the announcement of the royal baby, due in the spring, she wore a white dress designed by Australian Karen G. In a lovely nod to her husband's late mother, Meghan also donned the same earrings Diana wore during a 1986 visit to Canada. The Princess of Wales wore the earrings with a matching necklace and royal blue outfit whilst attending a series of events in the city of Prince George, British Columbia, with her husband, Prince Charles, over 30 years ago. The matching earrings did not go unnoticed. One Twitter user said, I love this. All the feels today. They made sure Diana was present for all of the baby announcements today. Another said, She is definitely a sentimental soul. Mama Megan. One very emotional respondent said, Well why don't I just start sobbing right now then? Lovely gesture. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex kicked off their royal tour in Sydney today by visiting Admiralty House, the home of the Governor-General and his wife. The Governor, Sir Peter Cosgrove, and wife Lynn, Lady Cosgrove, gave the pair their first baby gift, a fluffy kangaroo with a baby joey and tiny boots. They were greeted at the Grand Home by representatives from the 18 countries competing in the Invictus Games, which is taking place in Sydney this year and coinciding with their visit. Launched by Prince Harry in 2014, the Invictus Games is a Paralympic-style event for military personnel wounded in action. The Duke and Duchess then moved on to Petakwala at the Taranga Zoo, before heading to the Sydney Opera House. At the iconic Opera House, the royal couple were entertained by a traditional indigenous dance show by the Bangra Dance Company. This marks the first day of a 16-day tour for Harry and Meghan, during which they will tour Australia, New Zealand, Donga, and Fiji. After being congratulated on their royal baby news, Meghan said, Thank you so much. We are very excited. Buckingham Palace is selling a replica of Meghan Markle's £200,000 diamond engagement ring with royal fans able to get their hands on the budget version for £30. Royal fans were in awe when Harry proposed to Meghan with a stunning diamond ring, worth a staggering £199,475. But now, the public can buy their own version of the Duchess engagement ring, but at a fraction of the cost. Buckingham Palace is now selling a replica of Meghan's ring on the official royal memorabilia website, the Royal Collection Shop. The ring, called the Buckingham Palace Statement Ring goes on sale for only £30. According to the site, the ring is inspired by the Duchess jewels, and comes with an adjustable band. Meghan's original diamond ring was designed by Harry, and features three diamonds two from Princess Diana's personal collection and one from Botswana, set in a gold band. Royal fans can now buy the stunning replica online, along with a pair of matching earrings and pendant necklace, which are sold for £25 and £30 respectively. The imitation ring will feature three crystals, on an adjustable band made of palladium-plated metal. The Buckingham Palace website reads, The design of this new statement range is inspired by the engagement ring of Meghan Markle. Customers will receive the ring in a white statement box, with Meghan and Harry's initials labeled in gold. A pendant necklace bears the same design as the ring, featuring three crystals attached to a palladium-plated chain. Meghan's ring, designed by Harry's favorite jeweler Cleave & Company, holds a special meaning to him. Speaking about his wife's ring after their engagement announcement, Prince Harry told the BBC, the ring is obviously yellow gold because that's her favorite and the main stone itself I sourced from Botswana and the little diamonds either side are from my mother's jewelry collection to make sure that she's with us on this, on this crazy journey together. Botswana is a special place to Meghan and Harry. The pair spent their third date there, as well Meghan's 36th birthday last year. Describing their time in Botswana together. 
Harry said, we camped out with each other under the stars. She came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. Meghan has become a fashion icon in the UK ever since she started dating Prince Harry, and fans across the country are eager to emulate her sophisticated style. The Duchess outfits easily sell out within hours after she wears them, raking in millions for designers. Fashion experts say the Meghan effect could contribute £150 million to the British fashion industry. David Hay, CEO of the British consultancy firm Brand Finance, said she will quickly match or even surpass the Duchess of Cambridge in her incredible influence on the fashion industry.